Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I discuss about line supports of overhead line. Types of line supports and what is line supports of overhead lines. So let's start. So first I discuss about what is line support. The supporting structure for overhead line conductors are various types of poles and towers called line support. Again I repeat. The supporting structure for overhead line conductors and various types of poles and towers called line support. In general, the line support should have the following properties. Such first one is high mechanical strength. Second, light in weight. Third, cheap in cost, longer life and easy accessibility. So that's are the properties of line supports. Now types of line supports. There are various types of line supports such as the main types. These are wooden poles, street. Okay, I just first one is wooden pole. Second one is steel pole third RCC pole fourth lattice steel tower okay Now I discuss about wooden poles. So these are made of seasoned wood like shawl and sear and are suitable for lines of moderate exceptional area of relatively shorter spans say up to 50 meters. Such supports are uh, cheap, easily available, provide insulating properties and therefore the widely used for distribution purpose. So now the main objections of wooden supports are tendency to root below the ground level, smaller life like 20 to 25 years cannot be used for high voltage like 20 kV and less mechanical strength required predictional inception and next one is steel pole so in this case the steel poles are often used as suitable for wooden poles the process greater mechanical strength greater than wooden poles okay and longer life and permit longer spans to be used so the steel pole, steel poles are three types one rail poles and second tubular poles and third one is rolled poles okay and next the rcc pole rcc pole it's the reinforced concrete poles okay reinforced concrete poles have become very popular as line support in recent years okay in this era the rcc pole mostly used and they have greater mechanical strength. Main advantage in RCC pole is they have great mechanical strength and require longer life and permit longer spans than steel and wooden poles. Moreover, they give good outlook and single and double circuit poles for used. The holes in the poles facility that the climbing of poles and the same time reduce the weight of the lines.
okay the main difficulty with the use of these poles are high cost and transport owing okay this thing is and heavy weight and next one is steel tower so in practice wooden steel and reinforced concrete poles are used for distribu distribution purpose at low voltage say up to uh, 11 kV and however for long distance transmission in this uh, in this the we used lattice steel tower for long distance transmission okay and uh, tower footings are usually grounded by driving roads driving rod uh, into the earth this uh, lighting travels as such tower act as lighting conductor and uh, however at a moderate additional cost at a moderate additional cost the circuit towers can be provided as shown uh, the double circuit has advantage that it ensures co continuity of purpose and it cause there is breakdown of one circuit the continuity of supply can be maintained by the other circuit okay that's the main advantage of uh, lattice steel tower so that's are the line supports and its types so thank you everyone see you in next tutorial